So if you're sleeping like garbage, here's a couple of recommendations to help you improve your sleep, thereby optimize your response from training, optimize your health, optimize your mental clarity and cognition. We all know sleep is extremely important. And over the last decade of coaching tons and tons of people, I've noticed that a lot of people, more people than not, suffer from poor sleep. All right. So here's a couple of things I do in order to make my sleep flawless almost every single night. I've noticed I never really had a, a problem with sleeping. Maybe it's genetics, maybe luck. But here's a couple of things that I do on a consistent basis, which probably contribute to having very good sleep. Before I do that, of course, hit the like, subscribe, and the bell notification icon so you can be notified when I provide more videos like this. So what's the first thing I do? One thing I've noticed is your body kind of gets in rhythms, patterns. And I've noticed that by going to bed or falling asleep around the same time every night and waking up about the same time every morning, I get way better sleep. So generally what I do is I probably fall asleep between 10 and 11 p.m. on a nightly basis. Sure, there are some nights where I go to bed a little bit later. And I normally wake up around 6.30 to 7.15 every day. And when I do this, I'm the most rested. I have the most mental clarity and focus throughout the day. And I feel the best. So my first recommendation is try to get on a sleep schedule. Try to go to bed within the same time, the same hour. Don't give yourself probably an hour leeway every single night and wake up around the same time and this does include weekends you know i know a lot of people um probably like to stay up a little later on the weekends sleep in and wake up a little later on the weekends i haven't found that this is a good thing if you're trying to optimize your sleep you know if you're you're in the same pattern Monday through Friday, and then you screw up that pattern, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, well, that's going to throw you off for the rest of the week, right? So I would practice trying to get on that pattern, on that sleep schedule, and maintaining it throughout the weekend. Even if it means, you know, missing a night out, you know, friends, you know. It's, if your sleep is that bad and you want to optimize it, you're going to have to make some trade-offs. You know, one of the things that stuck with me when I interviewed uh, Mike Bradley, he's a strength and conditioning coach up at Florida State. He's been their coach for three decades. And this thing stuck with me. He said, life's about trade-offs. What trade-offs are you willing to make? Well, you're going to find that in many aspects of life, you're going to have to make some trade-offs. And in this case, Optimizing your sleep schedule is probably going to need trade-offs going out at night and screwing it up on the weekends. All right, so that's the first thing I would focus on. By the way, guys, um, I started my J. Vincent Fitness community. It's in an app. The link's in the description. In this community, I post a video every single day like this, a long format video going into detailed topics about this. I also answer all questions in detail, either with a video response or a long typed up response. I review your form, I review your workouts, I review your diet, and I give you a ton of guidance and assistance along with all the other members in the community in this app to help you getting better, faster results. Okay, so click the link in the description. It's 47 bucks a month and you get to be a part of a community of a lot of other motivated, like-minded men to help improve your physique, improve your health and fitness. And we also go over lots of other things like business, relationships, stuff like that. The whole point is to just try to become a more optimal, just savage man, all right? Links in the description for that. We go over this kind of stuff all the time. 
All right, my second run recommendation is avoid alcohol before bed. Okay, this really screws up your sleep. And if you were, were to use um, something that monitored your sleep, such as an Apple Watch or an Aura Ring, you'll notice your REM sleep gets significantly screwed up when you have alcohol before bed. Okay, we can actually we can actually quantify this now. I remember years ago, probably five, six, seven years ago, there was a guy on the Joe Rogan podcast. His name was Matt Walker. And he was talking about when you have alcohol or even, you know, THC or any kind of drug before bed, it interrupts your REM2 sleep, which is where you get all your restfulness, um, where you actually rest, all the repair, all the good stuff that comes from sleep comes in REM2. Um, and alcohol interferes with it. Alcohol prevents your body from going into that stage of sleep, which is why if you were to drink a lot and then go to bed, you may fall asleep quickly, but you wake up the next day foggy, unrested, you know, can't focus, low energy. You wake up fatigued, even though you may have slept eight, 10 hours. And this is why alcohol severely interrupts with your REM sleep cycle. So if you're going to have an alcoholic drink or two, make sure, first of all, you're not drinking a lot because if you have a lot of alcohol and you go to bed with, you know, drunk or with a buzz, you're going to interrupt with REM2 sleep. But what I've noticed personally, myself and my friends who are kind of monitoring this, if you have a couple of drinks and maybe you cut yourself off, you know, three hours before you go to bed and you let your body metabolize it, it tends not to interrupt with it or interrupt with it as much. So, you know, if you're going to, you know, watch football on Sundays, you want to have a couple of beers in the afternoon while you watch your team, you know, just make sure you cut yourself off a few hours before bed and you should be fine, okay? So that's another thing. Don't drink right before bed and certainly do not go to bed buzzed or drunk. It's gonna screw up your sleep. Although it may make you feel like it's putting you to sleep, it may kind of, you know, knock you out, you're not going to get restful sleep. All right, definitely going to interfere with it. Okay. Now my third tip, this is one I've noticed personally and through monitoring, you know, myself, my friend monitoring our sleep and our REM sleep. Keep in mind, a, a good thing to monitor it is that aura ring. I have a friend who wears it. I don't personally have one, but um, a friend of mine who wears it, who's monitoring all this stuff and, and, and putting the data and the analytics into my J. Vincent Fitness app, you know, to try to find out ways to monitor and, and optimize your sleep. He's found, and I have found anecdotally, that eating junk food before bed really screws up your sleep. <laughs> so he's monitored it with data. I monitored it just by feeling and, and anecdote. You know, personally, there have been nights where I would eat, you know, some kind of junk food, maybe ice cream, some kind of snack type garbage, high sugar, high calorie, high fat food, and then go to sleep and wake up the next morning feeling fatigued. This has happened so many times that I can definitely make a relationship between the two. And if you monitor your REM sleep, on the Aura Ring or any other sort of device, you will notice that junk food reduces the amount of REM sleep you get. Okay? Ace, stop. Ace, no. We're not chewing that right now. No, we're not. Sorry, my dog likes to, if I'm not paying attention to him, he likes to find ways to get my attention by chewing on a bone. But he's not going to do that. Um, and also, I've noticed... You know, if I have a burger, like um, I used to, you know, sometimes grab steak and shake and then go to sleep shortly after, I would wake up feeling unrested. So my third tip, do not eat junk type food before bed. It will interfere with your REM sleep. My theory is, I don't really have any 
hard evidence to back this up, but my theory is if you eat a lot of sugar before bed, your brain is trying to metabolize that sugar and it's making your brain overactive while you're trying to sleep, preventing you from getting a restful night's sleep. That's my intuition what's going on. I'm not exactly sure, but it makes sense. So those are the three tips. One, get on a sleep schedule. Go to bed and wake up around the same time every night. Number two, avoid alcohol before bed, especially avoid getting buzzed or drunk before going to sleep. Number three, avoid junk food before bed. High sugar, high fat. We know what junk food is. Just avoid that. And if you do these three things, I guarantee you, you're going to see a huge improvement in your ability to fall asleep, stay asleep, and wake up feeling rested. All right? So those are my tips. Don't forget to join the JBF Community app. Also, if you haven't already yet, tried my Golden Era system, goldenerasystem.com. Try my workout program. It's going to give you way better results with only two workouts a week based on science. Of course, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell so you can be notified. I want to give you more useful content to help improve your fitness, health, and your quality of life.